Everybody, Mr. Lego Lover 55 here, and welcome to another Lego set review. Today we're taking a look at an Avengers set, uh, set 76141, the Thanos mech. Uh, oh boy, this set's recommended for ages six and up, and has around 152. Cr Zeus, whatever. This set is recommended for. A Shoot, I'm, I'm, I'm out of it now. This set is recommended for ages six and up, has around 152 pieces. Must be really exciting for you, Zeus, huh? You must really think this is a cool set. Okay, why can't you do that during streams, okay? The set's recommended for ages six and up and has around 152 pieces, and uh, I, I would s say something about this set, but I, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Just, just, I mean, just, just look at that box art. Look at that box art. I I'm just gonna say this, and just, just this. It, it looks like a bootleg. Not gonna lie, it looks like a bootleg Thanos set. This is honestly, I think, at least the presentation makes it seem on par with that one bootleg Thanos construction figure. You know the one. But uh, yeah, no, this is, uh, this is not a bootleg. This is uh, real. This is a thing that is uh, real. Oh boy. But uh, yeah, the box, it makes it seem like it's a bootleg, at least to me. Back of the box doesn't do much better at not showing that, and uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know what else to say for this, other than let's just, let's get right into it, I guess. Let, let's open it up, let's build it, let's uh, yeah. Jeez, this looks like a bootleg set. Uh, yep, okay, I didn't show most of that because it was boring. And I like to open up these type of boxes a certain way, so, uh, yeah. Anyways, bam. We got a instruction manual, which is actually pretty neat quality. We got a, a bag one, interesting, a, a bag two, and a uh, bag three, so, huh. Honestly, I don't know if I've ever seen a $10 set with numbered bags, just, just being honest. Oh, we also have this sticker sheet, so, uh, yay. Stickers, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna build this set and I'll be right back Zeus quiet. Okay, so here's the set all built up and uh, I'll say it's uh It's definitely a set That exists so now to be fair. I think I'll just go over the positive parts about this set first so first of all this set has a lot of articulation it has a lot it's got shoulder elbow wrist and even finger articulation. It's even got knee articulation, something that we haven't really seen in mechs a whole lot since probably I think the King's Mech from Nexo Knights. And speaking of Nexo Knights, this mech kind of puts the uh, the Nexo Knights battle suit mechs to shame. Those ones, I mean, they looked cool and all, and they were pretty. I guess they had a unique design, but this one cost ten dollars. Those Nexo Knight mechs also costed $10. Yet this one has more pieces, articulation, and it's a license set. I don't actually have one of the battle mechs on me at the moment. I, I probably should have got one, but uh, it's just kind of crazy to think about that that mech is the same price as this one. And now I guess the Nexo Knight mech did have a lot of new pieces that were introduced with that set, so that probably could have been where a lot of the cost went to, but that's just speculation at this point. But uh, yeah, I'd also say the color scheme on this set is pretty good. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, this thing has waist articulation. 
That's pretty cool. But yeah, the color scheme on this set is also pretty solid. Uh, rocking the gold, uh, dark blue, gray, tan. Uh, okay, maybe it's not super solid. But you know, the main colors show the most, and I guess that's that's what matters. It's also got two different types of gold, which I find kind of weird. It's got, you know, the standard pearl gold, but then it's also got this uh, metallic uh, warm gold, so... That's interesting. To be fair, that is a cool uh, color to start getting more pieces in, but uh, but I don't know how I feel about them mixing the two types of gold, especially here on the Infinity Gauntlet. It looks just uh, just a little weird. And speaking of that Infinity Gauntlet, it, uh, it is something, all right. You do have uh, the Infinity Stones, not like the actual pieces, unfortunately, but you do have these uh, these uh, circular, these one by one flat tiles, uh, round ones, and a translucent color to represent each stone, so that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, you can't really get a, a snapping position. It's it's, it's really hard. I, I kind of tried, mainly because you can't you can't really pose. The thumb doesn't have a whole lot of, uh, I guess, side to side articulation, more front and back. So uh, that's kind of disappointing. So you can't. Maybe you can kind of get sort of an after snap pose or something. I don't know. It's kind of hard, so I mean, I don't know, unless you can maybe come up with something better, but I, I cannot at the moment. This set has also got some stickers, unfortunately. However, fortunately, there are only uh, four stickers used. Uh, just uh, two on each, one on each side of the leg, and then one on each arm, so thankfully there aren't a lot of stickers. And I thought that this, uh, this piece uh, was gonna have a sticker on it, but it's not. It's a printed piece. That's incredible. But, uh, yeah, there's one thing that I really don't like about this set, and I'll, I'll get to that here in a second, but, uh, so, as you can see, you know, this mech looks pretty good from this angle. It's, it looks menacing, it looks tough and all, it looks fairly tall as well, but, uh, turn it to the side. Oof. I don't know, I feel like there's just way too much exposed here on the side and it just kind of ruins the mech for me. Because it looks really awesome from the front, but then when you look at it from the side, it's just... No. No. This wasn't really a problem with the Nexonite Battlesuit mechs, mainly because they had a, a specific specialized molded piece uh, for uh, the entire body, whereas this one is mostly brick built. Because although they do use the same sort of uh, cockpit torso uh, chest piece, uh, the, the rest of the body is brick built. So that is unfortunate that it looks like that. However, the back is covered up pretty good using these uh, inverted tiles, so uh, props to them on that. And then of course you can, it is a mech, so you can take out the minifigure Thanos, and yes, minifigure Thanos. Thanos is a figure, we'll take a look at him in a second, and uh, yeah, so, and also when you close this up, it closes at like an angle, doesn't like close up like all the way, it's, just, it's kind of at an angle, which I find a little bit weird, but I mean, I guess they had to do something. But yeah, my, my main problem with this is that it just it's, it's mainly this gap here. That's, that's kind of the reason I really don't like this. Other than that, I think this would be a pretty cool mech. Well, I mean, also the Infinity Gauntlet does look a little bit, uh, looks a little wonky, not gonna lie. It definitely looks like uh, a gauntlet with a, Fruity Pebble Infinity Stones, but uh, I don't doesn't look like an Infinity Gauntlet. But uh, I think that's pretty much it for the mech, so let's take a look at the figure. And here we have Minifig Thanos, and uh, yeah, this is uh... This is honestly just feels kind of like a joke to me. I mean, hey, I'm being honest, okay? Now, although I do think it's pretty cool that we, uh, I guess, have gotten uh, a Minifig Thanos here. We have gotten one before, and I think like a Mighty Micro set. Minifig Thanos just really doesn't work for me. I feel like he should just be a big fig. I feel like that's how he should always be portrayed, just as a big fig. I mean, that's why they kind of made this mech, so they could sort of portray him as a larger figure, but not as a big fig. I don't know. Minifigure Thanos just feels like it shouldn't be a thing. But uh, take a look at that face print. You can see that's what he looks like. He has a pretty neat face print. I would have preferred if the eyes weren't red, but uh, they are red, so uh, yeah. So overall, this set is a complete joke, Let, let's be honest here. I mean, yeah, it's a neat build. It has a really good build, actually, and uses a lot of pieces for a $10 set. But the overall idea for it is, it's it's a joke. I mean, I'm pretty sure when we first heard the rumors about this set, or like the at least the set title of the set, I kind of had low expectations. And then when I heard it was going to be a $10 set, I was, oh, 
This is gonna be more of a joke. But uh, yeah, the only reason I got this set is mainly because, I mean, it is a pretty cool mech, so I guess that is another reason I got this set, but I mainly got this set because it's such a meme. I actually want someone to screenshot this or something and put an impact uh, font at the top and bottom, Thanos mech, Thanos mech. Someone please do that. You post it in the Discord. Uh, the Discord's in the description if you want to join my server. But uh, yeah, uh, I feel like this set is, just from what I've noticed, this set doesn't actually use any new pieces at all. At least new molds. I'm pretty sure it uses a couple new recolors here and there. So it just kind of feels like uh, the designers were trying to come up with something to just throw together without having to make anything like new. So just being perfectly honest, this feels like just kind of a, a random set that just didn't need to exist but just exists because Avengers and Thanos is popular. I feel like that's the only reason this set even exists. Not because they thought it was a good idea for a set, but because Thanos is popular. However, that being said, I do feel like they tried to make this a decent set, and I think they did uh, succeed at that pretty well. Because, I mean, they, they, they got knees. A set like this, a joke set, has knees. But, uh, yeah, overall, I guess I would recommend this set for the memes. Uh, it is a pretty good mech on its own, so if you are like into mechs and stuff, I guess I would also recommend this. It's only $10, so pretty neat. If you're into Marvel, uh, maybe you'll enjoy this set? I wouldn't really know. I'm pretty sure this isn't based off of anything in the comics, but I mean, if it looks good to you, then I guess you could get it. But I mean, other than those things, I wouldn't really recommend it, because it's just more of a joke set. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and keep building!